We have a 2007 Chevy Colorado with intermittent starting problems. A lot of times driving down the road, you'll get the intermittent pass light come on. So on the dash, there'll be a little pass lock light up while I'm driving, but it keeps running. Every now and then, I'll tick the key before I even get it all the way in the ignition, the engine starts cranking. And it won't start till I get the key all the way in and turn it to the run position, then it starts. But every time it does that, I'll drive, and when I shut it off, I go back out to it, it won't start. It just cranks and cranks and cranks. So we're gonna be trying replacing the ignition switch. So we got this online. Uh, the only way to get it is the full unit. So this is the whole ignition switch. But we really just need this half. It goes under the steering column like that. We just need this half. This one just comes right out. Okay, so the T25, there's three screws under here. We just take those out. And then you have this snap together here and the boot over here. Just pop the boot out. Kind of helps to, if you have a tilt wheel, tilt it down. And just got these little clips. Top half comes off. Tilt the wheel up. bottom half comes off. So this is what we're going to be changing today. This takes uh, two Phillips screws and this little plug. Just push on this tab, comes right out. Even that one's too long, so then you use something like this. Maybe we need to turn the key. Hopefully it's the same. After this, it's going to take a relearn procedure.
and after we install the switch we crank it, it won't start leave the key in the on position okay, after having the key on for about 10 minutes the uh, pass light went out so now we turn the key off for 30 seconds and then after 30 seconds of key off we now have the fuel pump but still no start sometimes you have to do this three or four times So we'll leave the key in the on position until the light stops blinking and then it will go out. Okay, after the third try to start, it's working. Put it all back together. When you put it back together, just make sure that goes over that first. And you got to get this little lever inside and just snap the two covers together. Put the boot back on, then we're gonna put those three screws back in. So I got the boot over here. Let me fix that. I got it back in. 